Hello and welcome back to another interesting review of this awesome series that is ongoing. Please note that this is a review and if it's something that interests you, I will appreciate you sit right back and enjoy my review. For my returning subscribers and for my new subscribers, I want to appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being part of this family. All right, and for those that keep asking where they can watch the series, please check out Mr. Loy here on YouTube and watch the series. Okay, today we'll be reviewing episode 31 and 32. So in episode 31, I think Vivian went too far. We all know Vivian to be troublesome. We all know Vivian to be, be, to be problematic and stuff like that. Always starting off fights that she can never win, not even finish self. But for her to raise her own hands on her mother-in-law, that was too extreme. That was too extreme. Vivian did not do well in this one at all. She was, ah, ah, who does that? Who does that? And Mama just laying curses on her. Ha, that, it was not just enough. Mama laying curses on her that she will never know peace. Vivian already doesn't look like someone that knows what peace is. Like her house help <laughs> said before, that it seems like she has problem with peace. Vivian doesn't know peace. So Mama adding another cause of her not knowing peace. Ha. That means her life is totally ruined. Her life is, is already ruined. If she doesn't take time, her life will be ruined completely. Because whatsoever cause the mama laid on her will definitely come to pass because she laid the cause out of anger in a place of pain. Do you understand? When you hurt someone deeply and you, they know that they don't hurt you in any way, they're only doing the good to you. I think if they cause, lay a cause on such person, I think such thing comes to pass. Especially when you pay their good with evil. When those people decide to cause, I think the, their causes do come to pass. So Mama have laid the first cause of Vivian out of anger, out of pain, out of out of frustration. She laid the first cause on her, which is she will know no peace. She miserable for the rest of her life, stuff like that, which Vivian is taking for granted, thinking that those things will not come to pass. All right. Aside from that, I noticed something else. Um, I noticed Ben's girlfriend always picking up the fight, helping to put Vivian in her place. I know she's trying her best just to help the family to get rid of Vivian. But at a second thought, I, um, don't you guys think that she's she's um, doing too much for someone that is not yet married into the family? Don't you think she's handling too much already? Because in a real life sense, I don't know if such can happen, if a girlfriend can can feel that comfortable to fight um, her proposed fiancé's um, elder brother's wife. I don't know if such thing can actually happen in real life because um, Ben's girlfriend feels so comfortable dealing with Vivian when they have not really married her yet into the family. So what do you guys have to say about her role? The role that she's playing already i don't know because the bus boss is already too much she's just giving the bus boss up and down she doesn't even want to listen stuff like that and i know he's sweet though he's fun because that's the kind of person that vivian needs that's the kind of person that she needs in her life but don't you guys think that she's overdoing i don't know for some people come and criticize me in the comment section but it's still okay it's just my opinion it's just my own observation you can also air in yours in the comment section and um so in the episode 32 i noticed um there's this uh peace of mind that mark got while talking with the house help while seeking advice from her there's this peace inner peace i saw all over him like all over him he felt so relieved he felt so relaxed for the, for the first uh, will i say for the first time in a while he felt so comfortable talking to someone and i kind of love the advice that the help gave to him because in everything what i've noticed about mark is that one minute he's looking seeking for advice the next minute when the advice is being given to him the right one 
he will prefer to look for someone that will tell him what he wants to hear, not just what will help him. He doesn't see, he's not seeking the advice for a solution, like for him to get a solution. He's just seeking advice of something that he just wants to hear something nice. So in, in this state that Mark is right now, what he really needs is a break because in a real life scenario, if you're going through a lot, if you're going through this kind of mental stress and stuff like that, all you will need is just for you to have a break, like stay out, give yourself time out to think about what you will do. So I think what Max needs right now is just a break. He needs to, to just shut his ears to all the noise all the problems that is hovering all around him just like the mate said he needs to listen to himself give himself the advice because they say the best advice one can ever take is that of the one which you give yourself so i think what max needs now is for him to advise himself and ask himself if what his wife is doing is really good and if also ask himself if what him as a husband is doing all the if him condoling all the excesses of Vivian and stuff like that, supporting his wife even when she's wrong and stuff like that, he needs to ask himself if what he's doing is right or wrong. Because at this point in his life, he's the only one that can advise himself, nobody else. If you like advise him from now to tomorrow, he will still not listen. So he's now the only one left to advise himself. And finally, when I thought Vivian raising her hands of mama was the worst she can offer. I never knew that something worse than what she have already done was on the way. The point where she accused mama of having something to do with her son, her own mother was too much now. Even when she knows deep down her that she didn't see anything bad, just her husband leaning on her mother's lap, which is normal, which is normal when a, a man is going through stress. You can always fall back to your mother. Some can even lie down, put their head on their mother's shoulder. Anyhow, you feel relaxed with your mother, you can probably do it. But Vivian walking in, accusing Mama of having an extra marital affairs with her husband, that was way too much. And at this point, Mama cursing her alone is not just the solution. I think that at this point right now, they need to involve the elders because Vivian has gone too far. Who knows what she's going to accuse anyone next? Who knows what will be her next accusation? So they need to start tackling her. They need to start handling whatsoever thing SSC she brings up. They need to start handling it immediately. And I was so surprised and shocked that even at this kind of accusation, Mark could not even alter a word. Like, he could not even say anything to caution his wife. He was just there moping. Ha ah, ah, this love, eh? Hey! Oh, my, this love is, is something else, so oh. It's something else, honestly. So, a lot is yet to unfold in the, in the next episode. The point where Mama has to call Vivian really got me teary. Like... I literally cried in the movie. Oh, forget that it's a movie. I was so emotional about this particular part. I really cried a bit, a bit. I don't know about you. I cried a bit. So I really felt like she, Mama was actually cursing her from her, from her heart, from a broken heart. So I really felt Mama's pain as well. And trust me, Mama is a very good actress. Even at her age, Mama is so good at her part. She's just so good. She's just so good. And all the actors in this series are awesome. They are very awesome. They are all they are all smashing their roles perfectly. No mistakes. Super good. I really commend everyone. Everyone is just so super good. We we'll get to know how Mama is going to handle this kind of accusation. Is it just her cursing her and letting everything slide? Will she report to the elders? Will they hold the family meeting? We what will they do? What punishments will they give to Vivian? So we'll just try to find out. We'll just these are things that many more will want to find out as the movie gets to unfold. So it's getting really interesting this time around. It's getting really, really interesting. All right, so this brings us to the end of today's review. I really appreciate your audience. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next review. Don't forget to drop your opinion about Mama reaction and Vivian. What do you think about Vivian? Don't you think she went to extreme? 
for me she has overstepped her boundaries this time and we are waiting for the wrath of the gods to be for her this time around so let's keep our hands crossed bye for now